Hi hey everyone, it's Overlord73, playing the last story on the Nintendo Wii. And this is just at the beginning of chapter 3. Greetings, traveller. I am a wandering harmonica player. Now that your melody has been added to the islands, what kind of song will play? I want to know how you spoke when you were playing that at the same time, dude. So we've all got his own rooms. <coughs> What's your name? Mine's Warren. I want to go outside, but I'm too sick. It's all that white stuff falling from the sky. That's what made me ill. Yeah, you don't want me playing with white stuff, mate. in this one. Is this my room? Yeah, not much going on in there. Talk to a few other people, I think. Okay, we can have a chat to this guy. Being about town yet? No. Okay. Earning money. Not oh, poor, I've got plenty of money. I'm a merc. Okay, so there's a fighting arena where we can gain XP and money. Okay. Let's go back downstairs then. Of a hard time of it today. Are you all right? No serious wounds. No, you come to mention it. I've got one you might want to look at. It does, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy to lose your life in the process. You don't want to be a mercenary forever. You want a better life for yourself one day. At least that's the impression I get. Yeah, eventually. That's the idea. Then don't be too reckless. You don't want something awful to happen before you reach that goal. There's no arguing against that. But what about you, Moranya? You seem even less like the type to be in our line of work. I can't say I expected it myself. But we all have our reasons for fighting. Perhaps one day you'll find out mine. Perhaps. Reasons for fighting. That's something to think about. You're showing us all up, Dagru. No. Just being paranoid. I've got to keep my sword in top shape. Can't relax otherwise. That doesn't make you paranoid. It does make you a bit of a worry, Walt. How long ago did we start up our band of mercenaries? You and me are the only ones still standing from back then. I know. Hey, kid. 
You on your own? <laughs> Same as me, then. Well, come on. Come with me. Balancing on the edge of a knife. That's how we live our lives. I'm not gonna make you live like this forever, Zayon. I promise you. The first chance we get, we're moving up in the world. Hmm. We've all lost a lot in the war. Things that were important to us. But we'll get them back. Yeah. You said something the day we decided to become mercenaries. We'll all be knights one day. You'll see. I've never forgotten those words. Me neither. And this job could be our break. Count Arganen is very ambitious. Rumor has it he's quietly building up an army, and I don't mean to quell the monsters. If we show him what we can do, that could be us he's recruiting. We'll do it. Yeah. We will. Hmm. Any thoughts? It's a mystery, but that must have been some kind of sacred place you stumbled on. Maybe the guardian angel of Lazarus Island is looking out for you. There's a guardian angel? Nope. I just made it up. But I do feel like our luck is changing. I hope so, anyway. Yes, a change of look. Good luck is always good. Hey, Zael! Have a drink on me! No, I'd rather not. <laughs> wow, Seren. This must be record time. <laughs> what, you think I'm drunk? Look, I'm as sober as whatever's normally sober. Anyway! Get some alcohol in ya! I'm a bit lost here. Siren does appear to have become slightly incoherent. Look, if you're not drinking, then I'll have to get another drink. You do that. What? Oh, Zale. While I was at the bar, you turned into a rather handsome chap. Oh dear, she's got the beer goggles on. Why? What? Why? But I'll tell you something about handsome chaps, Zale. Alright, being handsome's not enough for them. They're all shallow chaps, lying chaps, cheating chaps. And if they're handsome on top, I'm supposed to fall for them. And I know one handsome chap who's all three. Oh look! There he is. Hey! At least you admit I'm handsome. See what a horrible flirt he is. Don't you dare turn into that, Zale. Don't turn into a raging alcoholic like her either. <laughs> I'm glad I have so many good role models. Oh, with friends like these. Hey, hello. It's true, you are the most beautiful woman I have ever laid eyes on. You've melted my battle-hardened heart. I feel like a new man. Would you like to order a drink? Just being near you fills me with light and magic and joy. I'll come back when you've decided what you want to drink. <laughs> hey, I... <sighs> Looks like that one will be a challenge. But I like a challenge. What do you think, Zale? My dad gave me some advice before he died. He said, son, if you see a beautiful woman, you have to flirt with her. It's rude not to. 
My granddad said so too. And the blacksmith next door. My dad didn't say that. Then it's a good thing I'm here. It's the golden rule of being a man. I never break it. Not ever. So, in short, you like flirting? I don't like it. I live it. It's a big responsibility, being a fine specimen of a man like myself. Wait, does this mean you've even tried flirting with Morania? Of course. It's just... She didn't even notice I was flirting with her. What about Seren? <laughs> well, I only like women. <laughs> ah! Watch it, Seren! Oh, she's pissed. Oh, I'm sorry. My hand must have slipped. But don't worry. Next time it'll find its mark. You can pack that in. Let's tell them. See what Your she wants behind the bar. A rowdy bunch. <laughs> Sorry. I hope we're not causing a scene. Actually, as mercenaries go, you all seem really nice. My name's Ariella. My dad owns the tavern. You'll be staying here for a while, right? Just ask me if you need anything. Anything? Thanks. I'm Zale, by the way. Zale? That's a nice name. What do you think of the city so far, Zale? It's a shit hole. I think it'll grow on you. If you get the time, you should have a proper wander around. There's tons to see. Oh, goody. Is it always this crowded? Normally, there aren't quite so many people, but it's Lady Callista's wedding soon. Lady who? You don't know? She's the only daughter of the former Count. The wedding's not for another month, but it's already the talk of the town. Oh, I bet it's going to be such an extravagant wedding. How exciting! Yes. Very. It's a whole different world. Nothing like the life of a mercenary. Anybody else to talk to? I thought we got a merchant down here somewhere. Come on, Yurik. Why don't you sit with the rest of us? I can do without all the shouting and singing and spilling things. On the battlefield, yes. But my services don't extend to socialising in the pub. We can't all be delightful social butterflies like Seren. Anyway, I'm going upstairs. Using magic really wears me out. More than you might realise. Yeah, you do that. Don't worry about him. He's just one of those people who tends to keep to himself, you know? I bet he likes us deep down. You sure? He's a bit of a loner. We'll be busy from now on. Better go out and enjoy the city while you can. Here's the money we earned today. I'll leave it in your hands. We could do with some new gear. After that, you should take a look around the city. I'll see you out there later. Okay, so I go to the major oh, the majors in this room. Well, hello there. Hmm. I like the look in your eye. I bet you do. You after any rare foreign weapons? If so, then I'm your woman. So, what have we? Three thousand gold to spend. Buy one of them, I suppose. Now it would be good to see what characters I've already got. Aha, uh -huh. he does actually. I get it. So 
So in that little menu top right, the column on the right is what it will do. So you've got attack and magic attack I suppose. That'll do I suppose, we'll have a couple of those. Got anything to sell? No, oh, they just bought it. I'm not going to sell it. No, that does do. You and me are both outsiders in the city. Just have to live with it, I guess. I guess. So, equip. So we can put one of those on him. You look good, Luke. On the catwalk, spinning round. Alright, who else have we got? Equip one of those as well. Edges. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, sorry, that'll do. Be all day pissing about. Let's have a look in the city. South of the castle spread Lazulus City, hub of culture and trade. Naturally, it drew all manner of visitors from across the empire. Sailors, merchants, traveling entertainers, and knights errant, and of course, mercenaries. Mercenaries. Of the city by the lure of fame and fortune. Yet only a lucky few would ever taste the success they longed for. Ah, so chapter four is when you come out of the inn. Right, maybe we'll save it. Sorry there wasn't much action in chapter 3, but I suppose we spoke to a few characters, a little bit about background info, and learnt about mercenaries and merchants and whatever else we learnt. I'll overwrite that one there. Save complete. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Check back soon for another episode. Or chapter.